Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video series, we will look at migrating SQL databases to Azure. And uh, in this uh, particular series, I'm going to take an example of a, a hypothetical company who is the developer of the, you can say, toys brand of the online video games. Let's say this company was founded in 2010. Uh, the company has experienced exponential growth and uh, uh, to facilitate their online gameplay, they host gaming services on the on-premises using, using the rented hardware. Adding the online gameplay has dramatically increased their game's popularity, but the rapid increase in demand for their services has made supporting the current setup problematic. So this company is all excited to learn more about how migrating to the cloud can improve its overall processes and address the concerns and issues with its on-premises setup. They are looking for a POC for migrating their gaming VMs and databases into the cloud with an end goal of migrating their entire service to Azure. The company's engineering team is also interested in understanding better what their overall architecture would look like into the cloud, right? So in this series throughout, we will learn how to develop a plan for migrating on-premises VMs and SQL Server databases into a combination of infrastructure as a service and past services in Azure. We will perform assess you perform assessments to reveal any uh, future parity and compatibility issues between the customer SQL Server 2008 R2 database and Azure's managed database offerings, right? So. We will then design a solution for migrating their existing on-premises services, including VMs and databases into Azure with minimal downtime. Finally, we demonstrate some of the advanced SQL features available in Azure to improve security and performance in the customer's applications. So I am hoping that uh, with the end of this, I would say workshop or videos, a series we will be better able to design and implement a cloud migration solution for business critical applications and databases so the services and related products which we will use throughout this video series would be azure sql azure sql manage instances and azure sql db pass we will use azure database migration service we will use the microsoft data migration assistant Azure App Service, SQL Server, SQL Server on VM, SQL Server Management Studio, Azure Virtual Machines, Visual Studio 2019, Virtual Network, Virtual Network Gateway, Blob Storage Account. Okay, so if you see that what all we need to configure this, so to configure, so I don't have an on-premise infrastructure, right? So I will make the resources on Azure, but set up the naming convention of those resources in such a way that we'll have to simulate that, okay, this is my on-premises infrastructure and Azure I'll create with a different naming convention, right? So to do this lab, you should at least have pay as you go subscription. The trial subscription would not work. You should have sufficient rights within your Azure AD tenant to create an Azure AD application and service principle and assign roles on your subscription. So to start the lab, let me just quickly log on to the portal and start with creating what all resources I need. Okay. So I'm going to quickly create one resource group. Yeah, inside my resource group, I'm going to click on create. And I will name it hands on lap I'm going to go with West US 2 review create create it Okay, now I'm going to register the Microsoft Data Migration Resource Provider. For that, I'm going to go to my subscription. Pay as you go. In here, I will do 
resource providers and I will do search for data migration this one click on it click on register it is registering see okay it can take up a couple of minutes for the registration to complete and uh, you have to make sure that we see the status set to register before registered before moving on like we see for other resource providers right after this is done i will validate subscription compatibility with sql mi okay i'll show you how so the initial steps that we wanted to do were to create a resource group and then register the data migration microsoft data migration resource provider in the next video we will start with the validation of subscription compatibility with sql mi okay it will set to registered and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a great day